Hi, I'm a free plugin, and I'm here to tell you about more plugins like me. And I'm Soulstate, and I'm here with you to share the best free plugins on the internet, the ones you actually want to use. And no matter your skill level, DAW or OS, I hope you find a few gems here. First up, Vital. It's a wavetable synth that comes with 75 presets. It's more or less got the oscillator section from Phase Plant mixed with the effects section from Serum. And if you love sound design, you will love this synth. Here's a few presets. And my favorite vital feature, by far, is the ability to preview modulations. You just hold and drag. Next up is Spitfire Labs. They sampled about 40 instruments from all around the world, and they all sound excellent. I would start with the piano and the strings, particularly the tape piano. soft piano. Yuhi, Tyrell, and Six. This thing is amazing for those classic synth sounds. A lot of free synths have really bad low ends. They sound very plasticky and thin, and this thing is the complete opposite. In this example, I have a low layer and then a high layer, and it sounds freaking great. <laughs> <laughs> now you know some great free synths, so let's talk about ways to enhance them with more free plugins. By the way, if you're enjoying this, stay tuned for a best of Black Friday video coming out on Black Friday. And if you want to support this channel, please use the links in my video. Thank you. Tal Chorus LX. This is the chorus from the famous Juno 60. It's a very musical way to add width to synth sounds. <laughs> and wait till you hear it compared to Ableton's stock chorus. <laughs> Sometimes you want to widen your bass with something that doesn't cause phase problems like a chorus. And that's where this new plugin comes in. It's the closest thing I found to multiband width for free. Again, the best way to use this plugin is to figure out what frequency you want to widen and then dial back the side harmonics. Kilohertz Essentials Bundle. These were actually paid plugins for a really long time, and for some reason, these are now free. The three best ones, in my opinion, are the Bit Crusher. Sounds great, super easy to use. The Ladder Filter, which is actually a Moog filter. It just sounds exactly like you want a filter to sound. There's no other way to put it. just show you that low pass again. The third one is tape stop. You can control the stop time and the curve of the stop time. I'll show you what I mean. So you can have something really short or really long. You can also control the curve. So much fun. Quick note, if you're enjoying this video and want more, please comment more so I can get some sort of feedback. 
And if you wanna make somebody else's day, share this video with a friend. Then audio free clip. This has almost everything you want from a clipper. It's got oversampling, it's got soft and hard clip modes, and it's got a visualizer so you can see what you're clipping. Check out how we can use clipping to knock out almost 6 dBs of peaks and also make our drums sound more glued together. And now in context. Limiter 6. This is the best free limiter by far. If you try to push this super hard, it won't get quite as loud as the fab filter limiter, but if you're not fighting the loudness war, you'll see it holds up really well. Voxengo Span Frequency Analyzer. This is a great way to visually check your mix and make sure there are no stupid mistakes. Span actually helped me identify an annoying hat on this mix. Now, what if your frequency spectrum looks good, but your mix still isn't loud enough? Try Ulean Loudness Meter. There's two settings you should change to make this way more helpful. This color threshold, pull it down to negative 14, and then pull the scale range down to negative 18. So what we just did is really cool. Now the blue bar and the white bar show us negative 14 LUFS, which is a really good floor for modern music. And the new scale shows us much higher resolution changes from zero to negative 18. EQ. Let's talk about the two best free plugin EQs. The first one is Analog Audio Rare EQ, which is a clone of the famous Poltec. You might remember this one from a few different Ian Kirkpatrick videos. It sounds good on pretty much anything. I'm using it in this track to boost the lows just a little bit. I'll go kind of extreme to show you what I mean. The second, Acoustica Audio Baxter EQ, which is a clone of the popular Bax EQ. You'll find this in mastering studios everywhere. Unlike many plugin EQs, this is a great way to boost your high end with minimal harshness. I think you'll hear what I mean. Valhalla Supermassive. This thing does what it says. It creates super massive spaces. I used it on the vocal of this song, and I also like to automate the delay and the warp knob as a buildup effect. <laughs> Free Mastering Rack. This is just a little freebie I made for you. It's not gonna win you any Grammys or anything, but it will make your track louder for free and it has some good starter settings. So if you're into that, the download is below. Lastly, I recommend you watch this video about what I wish I knew before spending thousands on plugins. It's really about how to invest in plugins instead of just chasing deals. Talk to you soon.